Welcome to this uh, broadcast of Secret Media. I'm here with Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, Martin. Um, we're talking about what? We're talking about um, task management systems. Mm -hmm. Like Jira, Basecamp, and Trello, right? Yeah. This is, uh, you're a Trello user. I'm a Trello user, yeah. And actually, um, I have to admit, although we, um, in, our, in my business, uh, we only work with Jira, but as I'm still a Basecamp user. So um, uh, yeah. what we said is we're going to demo Trello and Basecamp real quick. We're not going to demo Jira because we have so many videos about how Jira works that uh, you'll have to watch this in other videos. Um, but um, let's uh, take a look at Basecamp and Trello and then try to find out what's the difference and how we can decipher when to use which one and where the strengths and weaknesses are. Okay. Okay. So, uh, would you mind if I start showing off uh, how Basecamp works? Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead. So, w actually, we're in Basecamp here already. Um, Basecamp is a product management tool um, designed for small teams or individuals, and um, I have two, uh, three favorite projects here, and a couple of other projects. Uh, actually, it's it's German here, but uh, it doesn't matter for our, for the content. So, uh, Basecamp is available only in English, but you obviously can write German text in there. So this is a um, list of to dos that uh, are done by um, people who help me with our house. And there's um, project updates, discussions, to do lists, files. They're here and uh, text documents that I can put in here. I can email content to this, uh, so there's an email integration. And uh, basically, let's look at the um, recent update. Hazip, a, um, a worker who helped me in our garden, has uh, uh, taken care of the lawn and took a picture and uploaded that, and then he completed this to-do here. And actually, I got an email about that, and it's marked as completed here. So, and when I now go in this to-do list, um, this is no longer in the list, and only the remainder is here. And um, basically, if I'm uh, what I do, or what I do the most is I create to-do lists like show Alex how Basecamp rocks. And then th this is something that I like. Like, I, I just hit enter, and I'm now in the to-do list. So first step, second step. So these these are easy to-dos. Third step. Each to-do can be assigned to someone. So I can now assign this to me. I can also uh, tell a due date. I can go into that, I can upload files, I can drag and drop them here, I can write something, um, make bullets, have links, quotes, and all this stuff. I can um, add people to receive an email about my update. I can loop in someone like, let's, our text advisor, for example, hold on, like this. I just type in his email address and then he'll get an update. Um, and it's very, very easy and straightforward. Actually, that's, that's it. Like, um, this is Basecamp. And uh, I obviously can say this is done already or undone. Oops. OK. Um, and I like that a lot. I use it a lot for personal tasks um, that I have at my home and that I share with my spouse or uh, a worker at our home. Okay. Yeah, that's Basecamp in a okay. nutshell. Your turn. So Trello. <coughs> so Trello. Um, yeah, this is Trello. And um, <coughs> what I really like about Trello is um, I can see this task. And um, not in this project, but this is one of the projects I could show uh, because there is no content about my customers. But um, yeah, you have different tasks or different to-dos, and for every to-do you can um, make some checklist. And if you've done everything in your checklist, it becomes green and you can be lucky. You can use uh, due dates, 
and ignore them and you can assign members if you have yeah. some members for it. So actually if you're watching from, from the US, we've been asking ourselves if Trello is very popular in the US. So please give us a comment and tell us um tell us yeah. uh, if this is uh, yeah. very popular. And what's nice about Trello is you can um yeah, drag and drop these uh, things around so it's really visual and, and it's all synced right through with your ipad with your iphone yeah. and you know exactly. and actually it's in real time right uh yeah yeah so if you uh, work i don't know i you i use it with some customers and if we use it together we can use skype to talk to each other and we can see how how, how things move around yeah yeah and um yeah for example one, one thing i really like is uh I can pre-do some checklists because mm -hmm. if I do one task again and again, like um, yeah, filming, uh, yeah, it's in German as well. But um, I have yeah, every time I go out for a shooting, I have to do the same. I have to empty my uh, SD cards. I have to load my batteries. Mm -hmm. I have to um, get my camera and my um, tripod and things like this. So I can copy these. Um, this list and um, don't miss anything because in the beginning I often miss the uh, electric cables mm -hmm. for my um, lights for example <laughs> <laughs> yeah so then, then <coughs> you get some problem yeah you have to find some uh, plugs or yeah how it's called yeah plugs plugs okay so electricity yeah, electricity mm -hmm. however okay things. Trello so this is Trello and um, yeah, another um, nice thing about Trello, if I get an um, inquiry from a customer, inquiry, yeah, inquiry. Uh, inquiry from a customer, I can um, forward this email to Trello and it creates a task for me. So yeah. And I have my. And it's something that Basecamp can do and Jira can do also. Yeah. Okay, but yeah. uh, this is how I use it. Yeah. Okay, cool. so let's go to Jira and then show me uh, which Tr one is for whom. <laughs> Uh, Trello uh, in a nutshell, now Jira. Uh, basically, Jira is all about issues. And um, what we learned in a video we created earlier is that we actually have a lot of issues here. So, um, uh, and it's very typical for Jira that you have like here, like 60,000 of issues. And um, it would be very difficult to have um, a base camp project with a very long list of 60,000 um, issues or also this Trello um, thing, which is very visual and so limiting to the, the amount of data that you can have. At the same time, the Jira has this agile approach where you can have these cards and move them around and um, do a very similar thing and still drill down into the task yourself and um, even drill down further and go to the whole page of this task and have your attachments and all this stuff. Um, but at the same time, it's more cumbersome to work with that um, in terms of, um, I didn't show that, but for Basecamp, you obviously have a an iPad, uh, iPhone and iPad version that will sync with your um, did for Trello, this is also a strength of the um, tool. They are very lightweight and Jira is probably much heavier. But in a nutshell, um, Jira does the same thing and many, many, many more um, things like integrations with um, your Git code repository, with your um, uh, continuous integration server, um, supports all the software development that you do, um, uh, automatic syncs with um, uh, tools like Confluence and all this stuff. So um, basically, if you uh, if we were in the street and you were telling me, so why should I use Trello not Jira? I would try to explain it like this. So you have this one guy, Alex, or a small team of up to five guys um, who need to get things done. Um, that's their basic task. They want to be productive. They want. They don't want to f have any task fall through the cracks. But basically, they trust themselves to work out everything. So um, they don't need this transitioning between Jira tasks and all this steered yeah. and t highly controlled environment. Um, it should be fast. It should be productive. It should be lightweight. It shouldn't 
come into their uh, work, they, it should help, not um, slow yeah. down. I, what I call this personal task management. Like, for a person, they want to get things done, like get their daily business uh, going. And then you have those teams of five to 500 people um, like that are organized in teams of, let's say, five to 10, or sometimes in, in bigger departments, even like 50 people. And that's what we call team task management. Um, and team task management is more complex, more tasks, more di diverse things, lots of projects at the same time, um, a lot of complexity. Um, no one actually knows what is done and undone at the same time, yep. which is untrue because, uh, or at least untrue for these uh, things. If you look in your trail, when we uh, prepare that, you had some things you could check off because you, you're like the master of information. You know this. I'll never do so. I'll delete it, yeah. um, and you can't do this with task, team task management. You'll always have to ask someone else, like, yeah. "Is this done? Uh, can't we just get rid of it altogether?" And um, so there's way more things of uh, processes and escalation that you need here, and then you even have those bigger companies with 500 and more people, um, uh, which. I would call enterprise resource planning. We, and basically, what I would say is Trail and Basecamp, they rock here, and Jira sucks. So you shouldn't use Jira for one to five people. It's, yeah. it's just nonsense. Just some big. Yeah, it's, it's just a very big thing for a small purpose, and it'll stand in your way. So don't do it. If you have five people, and actually your whole company is five people, Jira may be something you want to try out, because it only costs ten dollars, and those ten dollars are donated, so it's it's a free try. Um, and if you plan to be fifty in a couple of months, maybe Jira is the right thing. But if you're here, you may use all of them. And uh, didn't you say Trello's, uh, in your opinion? Uh, it gets uh, uh, really complicated. If yeah. You work on it with. Many people. And you've experienced like with, with five with people or whatever? Just four to five people, yeah. yeah. And, and you were yeah, you get so good emails. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe we used it wrong. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Too many emails. Too many working. emails, too many uh, tasks, too many um, information. Yeah, so may, maybe mm -hmm. trail is, is we for, for this. Because yeah. we used it um, yeah, to store information. Yeah. Like, a, yeah, you should use a wiki. Mm -hmm. We used uh, Trello even for this. And yeah, okay. So it became. Uh, came overwhelming. Yeah, and uh, I think Jira is in, in these environments like five to 500 or even 500 plus. Th that's where Jira rocks, where it's really strong. And um, even if you go up here, then things like capacity planning and uh, knowing how much workload do I have in this project, how far am I, um, this is something that Jira can uh, do really, really well, budget planning and all this stuff. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, basically that's, in my opinion, uh, the differentiation. What's your target group? Are you a very small team? You may end up using those and be very happy. Are you just starting off small, but trying to do this in your whole department and other departments also? You might want to look at Jira. Okay. That's basically what I And here you have any chance to uh, do it on any other way? Um, Y you mean, are there alternatives need, to Jira? Uh, yeah, you need SAP or something like this. SAP. SAP, um, actually, actually, I don't know. Um, the, um, what we see in terms of competitors to Jira in team task management is basically nothing. What I see is issue tracking, help desk, and um, uh, service desk uh, applications where you have things like HP Quality Center, or um, uh, uh, there's a Microsoft thing, obviously project, Microsoft project, but they also have a task management uh, tool that I don't remember right now. Yeah. Um, so uh, yes, there are issue trackers, help desk systems that are competitors of Jira, and um, it's, it's like with, he, uh, with those two tools. Um, Jira is not, does not rock in every use case. And there's always 
things that explain why Trello thrives or why Basecamp thrives. Yep. And they have their markets, and Jira has their market, and you always have to see in which market you are. Basically, um, if you're a big company and you want to do task management with your whole company or your whole department in a bigger group, a Jira is a good thing to look at. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, great. So, um, should we, should I ask my question? In Absolutely. As well? yeah. Okay. So, I'm looking for a solution. Um, if you know about Emeth, it's mm -hmm. a book um, about or, um, breaking down your company and systems. Mm -hmm. And, um, or as the American Army says, it's standard operation procedures, mm -hmm. SOPs. Um, yeah, you define some to do's and have some documentation to it. And, um, and you want a tool to support that? A tool, a tool to support it. So that, I <coughs> that makes it possible for me to get um, different people to, um, so I can get some freelancers, for example, yeah. to get, some f get done some filming. Okay, awesome. And let's let's uh, talk about this in the next video. Yeah. Cool.